camera attacking or movement tanker straight away in line and shh in the movement inside bam 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 so we end everyone it's master wong master wong here another day for you to go for your basic again simple movement onto the dummy to end fight quickly now of course it's so many different things uh put up there we already show you how to end in your fight using this basic uh dummy side a lot of time it's basic and it's simple movement that's how it work because a lot of time somebody come around attacking or movement panther straight away in line and shh in the movement inside bam 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 so we end finish their face will be decorated and make them so ugly their wife might divorce their stupid ass very quickly so thing to need to learn is a basic but it's effective so that way it can be work so some of you watching through this you follow along you love it so much on it already then make sure hitting the subscribe button right now and make sure you hitting the bell so hard that they're gonna ring so much that you don't even know they're ringing okay then i will update all the video for you so you can able to learn and understand them a bit more now continue uh last week we're talking about the arm break <coughs> When you're working into this movement here to hyper extending the arm breath, okay, and then attacking to end fight quickly, a lot of this movement is very simple, so you can able to make use of it. Because when it's complex, it can be fine difficult. That's why I call basic and simple. A lot of this are talking onto my book, the event changing everything that will take you through the journey call into it and a kt free training so helping you to learn on the basic of it the mindset the principle how to avoid all this problem you got to any any kind of fight you need to understand about awareness first if you don't understand about the awareness you don't understand what going on and what sort of thing happening it's very difficult for you to end anything and the most important thing is maybe you they're going to end you as fast as you haven't blinked your eye yet. So this is important. Now, this movement here is basically in the position in line. Okay? Then making the contact. Making the contact in between the punch. In between the arm here. So your punch is diverting this attack. So when your opponent punch you directly, you punch them directly, but you're using the arm, your arm to bounce out their hand, okay? So you go right through them, but their punching will be outside of your hand. It sounds very, um, very uh, the simple, but actually it's pretty goddamn complicated if you don't understand it. So look very simple, you know, everything is very simple in, in paper. But in practice or in real life, it's complex because you need to um, draw, you need to practice, you need to identify the situation, and it's always go back to the basic rule. Time, place, and a method of attack, depending on how you're going to use it, in what method you're going to use, okay? So this is important to understand that. If you not understand that, that will become the problem, okay? Because you're going to think, man, this is the... It's not going to work. So here is getting used to understanding the center of the attack. The punching in the center can be the palm, okay? Can be the punch because all this movement here is same movement, okay? Attacking the center line. The fastest way to get in one line, one place to another is the direct line, center, direct line. Straight away, you get in right in direct line. That will end thing. So you get into it, the line is controlled by the elbow, okay, like the punch come along, you control, then you follow, okay, then you control, then you follow. All this basic movement here that will help you to get you to learn to understand this basic. So again, it goes back to the basic 
of the principle of controlling your opponent and controlling how you move around the, per the tummy. If you don't move well with the tummy, that will be fine difficult for you to respond to it because your tummy is the arm is in the place. You have to work your body toward it to make sure it works. But remember, the tummy is uh, very uh, sort of like static and very uh, hard, okay? But the person is very flat, okay? It's very soft. When you hit it too hard, you the move, then you lost um, balance. So it's all about control and positioning. Control and positioning is the key of how you're going in to combine the movement when attack comes. Okay, so when they attack them, you attack it bam, bam, here already. You turn, you turn, you can't be like this. Okay, you turn, but you're in line. See, you're straight in line. You turn, you're 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 in line. So all this movement here, turning and forward, is. Do you like the Wing Chun Tummy lesson? If you do, then check out my website here, themasterwong.tv down here. I have the message, instant message if you want to contact me, ask me anything to do with martial art training and stuff like that and what we have to offer. Click on here and I will be here answer you when you're asking the question. And now let's go in to the Wing Chun side. Into the Wing Chun side on the top here. You coming down, you will see we have all sort of different thing here and onto the tummy training. Onto the tummy training, we have all different lesson for you here. Training plan, lesson for you. All this training, they're helping you to achieve everything that you need onto the dummy side, book, everything else. And also have 121 lessons for you here, okay? Coming over, check it out, have a look around, then you know all about it. And second thing is, onto the Waking the Warrior, as you know, I do the stuff with Dr. John and Dynam with Ish and the Pitmaster and all different people here. Click on here, Waking the Warrior, that's what we're going to do, all different challenge here. So come in here, select the thing you need on it, okay, and then find out more about it. That's all there is to it. When you're over to my website, spend a bit of time, have a looking around what we have to offer here for you, okay? Now, get your ass back to training. The ways have to play a very big role so they can able to work, okay? So, any question, anything like that, comment below here, and you get exciting to training to learn onto the dummy side, like I mentioned before, I have the dummy training program so you can start to practice and learn. Many of you ask me a lot of different questions like, oh, if I'm on my own, how can I train? A lot of time you have to train on your own because no one there to do the stuff with. And sometimes you have the partner, if they don't know what they're doing, then it's no good at all. So most of the time you're training on your own anyway. You're not training with anyone but your own. So when you train with your own, dummy is your best friend. So you need to learn to work around it and learn how to use this dummy here to be able to help you to work, okay? This is important. Turning of this movement here is helping you to get in the position. When you get in yourself in the position, okay, then it becomes easier for you to work. Like this. In this is very important. You set up your body to doing all the things that you need. So that will help you to doing everything around movement around it. Wing Chun is very basic, simple, but it's all depend how you use it. Like I mentioned on my book, the event changing everything. It's a time and a place for all the movement to be used. Okay, and it's always go back to the basic rule. Any kind of combat situation or any kind of conflict or how you can end any form of fighting and this is what the simple movement is it go back to the basic rule okay time place and a method attack the timing is very important okay how you're going to use it place where you're going to using that movement and technique on it okay where you're going to use it and the method what form of method are you going to deploy are you going to use hand to hand? Are you using weapon? Are you using some form of distraction? Okay, or deception, di distraction, depend on your method. What is the method? You want to move, run away? 
you want to fight is it one person is it more than one so all this is very very important on that book that then changing everything okay is to have all the information and everything in there to helping you to learn to make you to understand more about it and it and throughout the training i do the stuff with uh, dr john onto the seminar coming up on it it's onto the self-defense. It's all about awareness. Awareness, situation awareness is very important. If you're not aware of what's going on and what's happening, it's very difficult for you to be able to use any of your technique or movement. Okay? If you into it, you love it, you like it so much, and you can check it out on our website here, masterwong.tv, and you will know you will love it. And if any question you want to ask me, ask me below here and I will be here to answer all the questions that you need to be answered, okay? In the meantime, if some of you watching through this and haven't surprised it, and make sure you subscribe to me before your enemy do, otherwise your enemy gonna end you quickly than ever. So make sure you subscribe before your enemy do, otherwise it's gonna be a problem. Master Wong here, and out.